Thanks for checking out this clip of Anatomy of the Church and State. Be sure to catch the full episode on Rumble or ChristiansForLiberty.com. Links are in the show description. Now, and, uh, how do we how do we hate evil without inherently putting that evil on the person perpetuating it? Right, that's tough because we're supposed to hate evil, uh, but when that evil is firmly attached to someone, you know, what are we supposed to do? You know, the old comparison: should we have hated Hitler? You know, Kanye West got on TV and said, "Oh no, I, I hated what he did, but I loved Hitler." Is that you know how do you how do we reconcile that? Yeah, so Hitler is the uh, Hitler is the extreme case, and extreme case doesn't make the rule. So, mm, okay, um, the rule would be if trans activists showed up at your church on Sunday and were picketing your um, picketing because your pastor put out some sermon about pride month and you had all these activists show up see i believe that the the activists that is their goal is to cause another george floyd when it comes to sexual deviance so to create a sympathetic figure that people can get really angry about and show sympathy to these people. I'm afraid that if trans activists showed up at a church, because they show up with cameras, right? Yep. And they are goading you into a reaction. They want you to punch them beat that's why they'll even bring children and they'll go after your children cuz they want a reaction their whole action is your reaction that's Saul Alinsky that's rules for radicals that's their goal but christian you and i are commanded in personal relationships to punch our enemies to hate our enemies, to mock our enemies. No. You say to those trans activists, hey, come here. I know, I know you're really angry with me, but I just want you to know I love you. And Jesus died for your sins. And you can find freedom and forgiveness for the sins that you're committing right now, just like I did. I, I'm no different than you. I was a rebel against the Lord. I, my rebellion is different than yours, but we are both rebels against the Lord. And I love you and I want you to hear about Christ. And you're kind and you're gracious and you are, you are what God is to you as a sinner. We have, we have the tool, which is the, the, the fruit of the Spirit. We have the tool to not give these people what they want, to diffuse their entire revolution. But we want to fight them like they are our political enemies. And political meaning they are a, and, and make no mistake, they are an army. They are a, an occupying force in our country. That's why people take down the American flag and put up the rainbow flag. They are an occupying army who are, this is an occupation with a different constitution. They see themselves as a different nation to America. That's why they hate America. And even in the midst of all of that, we still need to practice self-control and demonstrate the gospel to them. Because if we don't, this, is, this will be the pathway mm -hmm. to our persecution. This will be the pathway to us being not just canceled by the culture. We're mostly canceled by the culture already, right. but actually um, attacked by government. And so, and I'm saying, Christian, Jesus already told you how to respond to people interpersonally. So I'm not talking about if you're in the government and you're working on laws and all of those things. I'm not talking about that. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about interpersonal interaction. You and I are to love our enemies. And we don't want to. We want to defeat our enemies because right. we see what it's going to do to our kids and our grandkids. Like we see the America that's coming and, and we know the America that, that, that we left. 
We know what's behind us and we know how good that was. And we see the future. And even in the midst of all that, Jesus tells us what, how, how to respond in our person's way. Turn the other cheek is not a rule for government. So turn the other cheek. If, if Russia bombs you, like you just let them bomb you again. Like, no, this is, this is interpersonal relationship. And in an interpersonal relationship, I'm to love my enemy. So Even saying, my enemy wants me dead. Right, right. So you're kind of separating the, um, that from the extreme, which would be more of an act of self-defense when we bring up the hate. Absolutely. 100%. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, exactly.